Learn to Crochet Beginner Series. Today we're learning how to make a solid grainy square. This is a classic square that can be made very small all the way to an entire blanket. Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses, where we stitch our love and love our stitches. I'm your host, Kristen, and I'm going to be showing you a series of beginner crochet videos. This series is going to be in my style, and I'm so happy to bring this to you, so stay tuned for all the videos that are coming. As always, I suggest that you watch the video through the first time before attempting to get the idea and all the tips along the way. Then grab your yarn and hook and pause as needed to crochet along with me. Today we work on our solid granny square and it's very similar to a classic granny square and either one of these can be made into a small square or continue going into a larger blanket. So our last video was the classic granny square and you can get that uh, link to the video down below as well as the pattern for this granny square. So beginning on this one, let's go into what we need to make the stitches here. So you're going to need to know how to double crochet and I'll teach that here as well as chain and you'll also slip stitch and we'll be working in the round so this is going to start right here and then we're going to go work all the way around in this direction and create the first round and then we continue around for the second and the third and then you'll you'll see how it continues to develop it's really simple to do it's a favorite uh, first type of granny square to work on let's begin with what you need to get started with today's yarn is a medium weight yarn nice and smooth and light color so that we can uh, see our stitch as well and working with an i9 crochet hook or five and a half millimeter if you change your yarn up a size be sure and change your hook size as well let's start with a slip knot i'm going to make mine the way i like to make it wrap my yarn around my finger a couple of times lift the back loop over the front loop and then do that one more time up and over the tip of my finger to create a loop insert my hook in and pull on it and have it nice and loose and that will begin our slip knot. Now we're not going to count this knot on our uh, hook. So we're going to wrap my fingers around here and hold on. And for slower stitches and tutorials be sure and click that link for those. And I will go over the stitches you need here uh, slow at first. So we're going to chain up. I'm going to chain by yarning over and pulling through one and do two, three, and four so chain four and then we're going to create a circle so we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook you don't count what's on the hook one two three four insert into that stitch there pull up a loop okay not very big and then just pull right on through what's already on your hook and then that creates a circle and when i hold it up here you can see how that's pulled back and there's one more stitch underneath it and that actually will take you through the middle of that circle and we're going to work in there in just a moment after we chain so go ahead and chain up five so we're going to chain one two three four five and this chain will count as the very last double crochet in our round for round one and a corner and the, the actual very last corner so we're going to yarn over and make three double crochets into the center of this circle here so we insert our hook after we've yarned over yarn over and pull up a loop and now we have three loops on our hook yarn over again pull through the first two loops yarn over and pull through the next two loops so you've got your first double crochet yarn over and do it again so insert into that circle yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops and then one more yarn over insert into that circle yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and as you see now that you've done it I didn't want to complicate it but there's this little tail and what I'm doing is I'm wrapping the yarn around this tail and the circle at the same time so I'm just laying it over the top and then whenever it goes in here it just wraps the yarn around that tail so later on you could just clip it off and weave in just a little tiny bit on that tail and you will be nice and secure 
All right, so you can see this little part that's popped out. We're gonna do one of those over here and make a corner. So how we do that is just chain two. One, two. Now, if you did the granny square from the week before, you knew that on the corners we chain three. On this one, we're making it a little bit tighter. So see how this beginning uh, looks like this beginning, except it's actually gonna pull the corners in a little bit tighter. So it's very similar to last the last video um, for the center. I'll just leave this here as a reference to see. So here we go. We've got uh, the next set of three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over and insert into that hole in the middle. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Do that two more times. Yarn over. Insert. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, again, yarn over, insert, pull a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then chain two, one, two. That's a corner. I'm going to keep turning it. If you notice, I keep turning this because we're going in the round and it's easier just to continue twisting it as you go, even on a small circle. I'm going to yarn over and we're going to do that again three times. Pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And we've got one more, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you can see, if I turn it this way, you can see that we've got um, a corner here, a corner here. We've got this beginning one that's a corner, and we need one more little corner here. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and I can um, see that I've got this part as a double crochet, and then I need two more to complete one of these sets of three. So we're going to do two double crochets, pull up a loop, pull through two, and two, one more, yarn over, insert, pull one up, two, and two. And we need to fasten this together. And when we slip stitch it together, we're going to go up the third chain. So we've got one, two, three, insert the hook into that third chain. You're going to have one loop on the bottom and two loops on the top. Yarn over, pull up one and then fasten those together. So slip that over. So that's your slip stitch. So we have our corner now. So here's your one, two, three, four corners. It might look a little round, but it will get uh, straighter as we go. Ready to begin round two. For the tail, just let it lay there until you're ready to weave in those ends later. And we're going to start round two by chaining three. One, two, three. Okay. So we're going to double crochet into this space here. If you notice, we have this chain that lines up with this post right here. Okay, so this one is going to, um, you'll see that it, it lines up with these stitches over here. And so when we hop over to this first corner, we're going to be working a corner. And that's this part right here. Okay, this will be our first chain that we're working on. We're going to work two posts, a double crochet, two chains, and then two more of these posts to make a corner. So double crochet into that corner twice. One. Double crochet again, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, one, two, make two more. We're still in that corner. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that one more time, yarn over, insert into the corner, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we've made that corner and, and we're not going to chain uh, in between. So if you watched last week, we're not chaining in between stuff, only at the corners. So if we look at our post here, we're going right above them into the stitch. So if I pull this back, here is my double crochet. If you pull this back, you can see 
these two loops that are on the top that's one part of that stitch and then the under part here this little stitch here so we want to go in these top loops here into that stitch and we're going to be creating a double crochet there so we're going to yarn over go into this stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we go to the next one next stitch yarn over insert into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop we have three on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we have one more here so we need to go into that stitch yarn over insert into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so all three of these line up with these three here and then we yarn over and we start crocheting another corner. So again, a corner is two double crochets, two chains, and a double and two double crochets. So it's a it's a row, part of the row patterning. So we're going to go in here, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the corner, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. And then we want to chain up two for that corner. One, two, we can turn it and make finish making your corner. We've got a loop here, we've got one double crochet and another double crochet. I'm gonna start speeding up my double crochets a little bit here. Okay, so we've got a corner. And now we can kind of go back on our work. I want you to notice where we have a corner we have a corner here. Let's count how many posts we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have two in each corner, and then we have the three in the middle. So we're going to go around, and then you should have the same amount of posts all the way around. So we've finished a corner here, and we want to go on the top of these over here. So we need three stitches. So yarn over, go into this stitch here, not over here, but this one. So we're not in the corner space. Just go right above where that one little stitch is. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do it again. Next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Okay. And if you're not sure, just pull back your stitches and go, well, did I do that corner? I did one, two, and then I've got one, two, three, and then now I'm ready for the next corner. Yarn over, insert into this space. This is the corner space. Pull up a loop, pull through two and two, do it again. Pull through two and two, chain two, one, two, and two more double crochet, yarn over, insert in the space, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, repeat, a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now that that's that corner established, and we've got three more. Go into the space, remember, pull back that first stitch, don't jump over too far. Pull up a stitch, pull through two and two, second double crochet. Be sure and pause as you need. I'm on the third double crochet. Okay, so we're all the way around and we're almost done. We've got our last corner to do. We've done two over here. We've got the one, two, three in the middle. And now we need the two left at the end of this row. One and two. Part of it's in that corner. And then we make our corner. One, two. And then finish the corner with two double crochets. One two and pull through one and two okay so we've got the corner now if we fix if we look at our count we've got this corner over here with two and this corner over here with two and then we need to match up these three right so we've already got this chain here so we need to finish these two last stitches so you have one double crochet in each of these last two stitches so pull through two and two and pull through two and two and then we need to fasten it together as we did before so you're going to go up three 
one, two, three, into that stitch there. Okay, right in that chain, pull up. Oh, okay, I must have done this a little tight. So we're gonna go into that stitch, into that, okay, there we go. Yarn over, pull up, okay, and then go through. And we have, um, we've done a slip stitch here. So you can see we've got a nice little square forming, like just like that. Okay, so to continue on, it's the same thing. You're still gonna chain up. So round, round three is chain three, one, two, three. And you'll see this continue on. So um, we, add on every time it increases and every time we increase by four on each side of each round so right here this one lines up with this one so we know that we need to go into this stitch here and this stitch here before we go to the corner so just examine your work before you move on and then you'll be good so we're going to yarn over go into this stitch here that pull up a stitch yarn over pull through two and two one more into the stitch yarn over pull through two and two now we're ready for the corner and we can work all the way into that space so yarn over into the space pull a stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two another double crochet into that chain that space through two and two make a corner by chaining one two and now two more double crochets to complete that corner pull through two and two whoop yarn over pull through two one, two pull through two okay and now we're going to continue going across this is our first opportunity to see it all together so we pull back our stitches and you see that we're going to go through one two three, four, five, six, seven here before we go on. So we're gonna yarn over into that stitch, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that again, yarn over into the stitch, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I had three before, I add two each round, so three plus the four is seven, and that's why we have seven across that I just counted. Yarn over, go through each of these stitches, and meet me at the corner, so if you need to pause your video. Okay, so I'm back at my corner here, and just to check your work, um, I'm gonna show you how, if you need to go back and you go, oh, I've got too many in one space, or I skipped one. If you need to go back somewhere, just take your hook, and you can, uh, now you've got this, this is the stitch for what you're on now, but this one right here is your previous stitch. That goes back one stitch. And then you can count them. Oh, I gotta go back this many stitches. And you would put your hook in, okay? catch it and then pull your yarn out and it takes out those stitches for you rather than let it go and then you maybe you pulled it too far or something all right let's I'm gonna go and catch back up okay and now we're gonna go into the corner two double crochets chain two one two two double crochets oops okay and then you're just going to continue on this row making a corner and come all the way down to the end I'll meet you after you've completed this corner down here and I'll show you how we can uh, continue on and uh, and also fasten off our work see you in a moment 
All right, we've continued down to this last corner and I wanna show you how to finish this off. And you can, of course, continue going. You already know how to chain and continue uh, building up your stitches and making corners and going around. But this is how you would complete your project. So you end up uh, at a corner. You want to go in and finish all your stitches across here. Remember to watch where the post is coming out of. So you won't go into this last stitch here, but you're gonna go in through these. So the row that I'm on, I only have four left. Here's what I have, way more than that. We're going to yarn over, insert into our uh, stitch there, pull through, do a double crochet, okay, do the next one, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, again, pull through two and two, and then I have one more. And then this is where we want to slip into this last stitch here. So we want to go into the one, two, so let's pull this back. We're gonna go into the one, two, three, go into that chain. Okay, we got two loops on our hook. Pull through, and then we're going to slip it. And then we have one loop on the hook. So we're gonna get our scissors out and clip about a four to six inch tail, and then we're going to uh, yarn over and pull through again. So I'm going to show you on this one. I've already clipped the yarn. So I've got this loop here. And we're just going to fasten it off by yarning over and pulling through one last time and tighten that up. And then we weave in our tails. I hope you enjoyed this video on the solid granny tutorial. Stay tuned for the next video on the corner to corner. Be sure and click to subscribe to get new videos in your inbox and hit that notification icon so that you will know when they come out. I hope you have a great day and happy crochet. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.